This is what nightmares are made of. Hello Sailor Moon world and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ochi, big Sailor Moon toy collector. I am happy you are joining me for another video. Today I am opening up Kind of an older item. These are the Premium Bandai HGIF figures from 2014. Now I did buy these back in 2014. I actually bought two sets but I never freaking opened them. I didn't open them at the time because my toy room was not up and running so they kind of just got chucked into storage. But now that I'm finally getting my collection room all in order as you have seen, I am ready to open these puppies up and get them on my shelves. All right so here is the box that these came in. It is a pretty long box and it has the gold Toei sticker on the back. This set happens to have the 20th anniversary logo and the international Sailor Moon logo on the back. The way that this box opens up is just through this little tab and you pop it open. First thing you notice here is a little instruction sheet that shows how to assemble the stand and connect them together. This set was unusual because it was a premium Bandai exclusive. You could only get this item if you pre-ordered through premium Bandai back in 2013. They released March 2014. They're interesting because they come with the title HGIF. For any of the collectors from the early 2000s would remember the Sailor Moon World Gashapon that came out also included the HGIF title. HGIF stands for High Grade Imagination Figure. I'm so bad. Okay, I've got them all spread out on this table. They come in little plastic bags like so. Looks like different compartments for each body part. I don't know, like here's her leg. Creepy. Sailor Mars. Sailor Venus, my girl Jupiter, Sailor Moon, and the kitty cats. Who do you want to start with first? Venus it is. Gosh darn it, I didn't bring scissors down. We are gonna have to do this by the tooth and nail. Kidding. I really regret not bringing any scissors down here. That's it, that's it. F it. I'm gonna go get some scissors. Tip number one, if you want to buy this set, get some scissors, because you don't want to battle with plastic. You have better things to do with your time. I know I do. Oh, things are going so much smoother, y'all. So these just have a tad bit of assembly, nothing too hard, just piecing them together. It looks like their pose and their henshin pose, except Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon's doing Oshikyo. I don't understand why it's so difficult for me to assemble Gachapon. I don't. I don't! Look at her, everything's falling apart! Okay, I've got Venus assembled. I think I'll do the stands last, so I'll just get all the guardians assembled, and then we'll do the stands. Who's the chosen one? Sailor Moon! Oh, look how long she is! Okay, they, they wanted to individually wrap her pigtails. Okay, okay. I actually appreciate that detail. It keeps the parts that are different color in paint from touching other ones so you don't get any scratches or paint marks on the other pieces so that's actually good that they were individually wrapped something that i've always liked about these figures from what i've seen in the photos is their dramatic poses they are the description of dramatic but i kind of like it uh some people didn't but i like it i have the worst luck with putting together Gashapon. I don't know why. Is anybody else like that out there? Am I the only one? Why can't I put this pigtail in her head? Like, why? Does anyone remember the Sailor Moon World Gashapon and <laughs> the difficulty in putting those together and keeping them together on your shelf? I remember, um, what was it, the fifth set of the Sailor Moon World one, um, the Eternal Sailor Moon, that she's when she's on her knees, and she's kind of going like this. Oh, that one. Many people had to glue that m Sailor Moon's showing quite a lot of ass in this one. Who is the next one? Sailor Jupiter, my favorite guardian. Snip, snip, snip. Ooh, I like this one. You don't have to pop her arms in like I did the other ones. Oh, saves me a step. Why, oh why, oh why do I want to put them in without their skirt? Skirt first, you guys, skirt first. 
I am noticing something weird though. The sailor collars, they do not have the white stripes on them painted. You can see that there's an outline for the white stripe, but it was not painted and I'm not quite sure why they chose that direction because the previous Sailor Moon Gachapon had the white stripe painted. So I know it's possible. These aren't small enough to where they couldn't have done that. Who's next? Sailor Mars. I'm not gonna do the skirt thing this time. Oh, you have to, so she has a piece of hair right here that's kind of preventing uh, you from putting on the skirt. So you do have to move it out of the way just a little bit and be careful because I do think these could break a little bit and you don't want to ruin these because these are expensive now. Luckily, I bought mine back when they first came out. Um, they were about $50 retail, but now the price has definitely gone up since they're a little bit more harder to find since they were released in 2014. I mean, you're expected to pay at least a hundred or so for them. I haven't really looked at the going prices, but I know that they're definitely at least double. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little silly opening a set that's this old. I mean, some of you guys out there are probably like, what the heck, where do you get, where can you get these? I, do, I don't even know about these, you know, because they're, they're, they're so old and there's been so many collectors that have popped up from the 20th and 25th anniversary, which is awesome. I welcome you all, but I do feel a tad silly opening up these older products that it would be harder for you guys to buy at a good price, but you never know. You can still find deals out there. Shoot, I could tell you many a times with some deals that I've got on some older Sailor Moon toys. You just gotta keep your eyes peeled and check around. You never know what you can find. Okay, and Mars. Feisty. All right, the last one looks like Sailor Mercury. <laughs> Use your strength. Mercury was the easiest one to put together. What a blessing. Last but not least are the moon kitties. Their little faces and their little chubby booties. Okay, so now we are going to open up these stands and I am a little nervous because shit like this is what gets me. I mean, you saw me struggle with some of the senshi, expected, but these scare me a little. All right, so they look like this. It looks like it comes with a little leg holder and then the base. So pray for me, y'all. I hate little freaking pieces. Are they all the same? Okay, nope, they are not all the same. In fact, it gives you a number on all of these. One through five. And I think on our little handy dandy sheet here, it will tell you who is who. False, it does not. So we're gonna have to guess. I wonder if it's in order of how they are on the box. Is it one, two, three, four, five? Let's find out. Scratch that, it's not how they are on the box because this is number one and it looks like it's Sailor Moon. So my bad, this kind of stuff does not bring me much joy building. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna break something and these are already so expensive. I would be devastated if I broke something. So it's always good to be careful and if a part's not budging, don't force it because I have heard of people forcing things and then they do break. So just take your time with these and be gentle with them because they are hard to replace. Sailor Moon items aren't cheap, so it's good just to be careful. And then they look awesome when you're careful and you get them assembled and nothing broke. I am loving this. I am loving this set so far. Look how cute they are. Little pieces scare me. Oh, okay, so the numbers are based on when they appear in the show. Does anybody out there have this set? I wanna know what you guys think, because this is my first time ever seeing them in person. And so far, my overall opinion is I actually like them. We lost her body. Catch a pond is so difficult. I feel like anybody should be able to do this, but I don't know why I am having so much problems. It's like, don't touch them and they'll be okay. Jupiter, don't fail me, girl. I really don't think you need the extra plastic pieces that stick up from the base to secure them because most of these are standing all right on their own. I mean, and they're kind of ugly too, so should I use them? I don't know. I guess I wouldn't want them taking a fall to their death, so we'll, we'll use them. Okay, I've got them all done. How are we going to... 
assemble them all together because they give you three different examples on this sheet here. I'm trying to figure out which one do I like best. So you just use these little tiny pieces to interconnect all of them together. Watch out because they're, gosh darn it, her hair. I'm getting Eternal Sailor Moon vibes all over again. I'm seeing the issue here. It seems like the, the pieces where they interconnect here aren't exactly molded to the right shape so they're not sticking in very good. So maybe it isn't me. It's, it's a manufacturing error here. That makes me feel better. For the love of God! I'm getting frustrated as heck. I have to get down for this. I am getting sick of this Sailor Moon. I am about to throw a fit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry y'all had to witness that. I really don't want to touch her anymore. Right. Okay, it's kind of good to just place them where you want them before you interconnect them. That way you can figure out if that's the way you like them displayed or not. Because there are a couple of different ways that they interconnect. <laughs> Ah, this pigtail! Okay, we got it on. Ah, we are done! So the way that I have them assembled, it does leave you three different of the plastic pieces. I'm gonna just put it in one of these plastic bags, keep it in the box, because I do keep the box for my collectibles, just in case I ever want to sell them or store them away. But that's totally just a personal choice for me. You do not have to do that, especially if you're limited to space and don't want to keep trash around. Ta-da! They are all done. This took way too long. It's all because the little piece inside is not molded correctly to fit inside, at least on my set. I'm not sure how your sets are or if they're all like that. I'm still really happy with this set. I mean, look at them. Aren't they awesome? Do I think this set is worth it? Heck yes. The quality alone is really good. The paint job looks crisp. Their faces are really well done. I do see something I'm not really too thrilled about and that's what I mentioned earlier in the video is that their collars for some reason don't have the stripes painted on them and I'm not sure why because the previous Gashapon in the same quality even smaller scale actually had those stripes painted so I don't know why they chose to omit the stripes on the collars but it's kind of a detail that's gonna bug me but it's not a make it or break it I think the set is really freaking awesome are you gonna be able to find it for less than a hundred I don't know because this is an older set. Any place that you can find secondhand Sailor Moon goods is where you'll be able to find these now since they are out of print. I gotta find a place to put these because my collection is kind of at capacity. Guys, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I am having so much fun doing these. So I thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. It would mean the world to me if you would give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel because I plan on doing lots more videos and I want you to come back I'm still new to YouTube but I am learning as we go to make quality content to make it short and sweet and get to the point because I don't want to waste your guys this time or mine for that matter thanks so much again and I will see you guys in the next video